Hello and welcome, this is Kendra, and today we are celebrating a big milestone for me and some of my crafty friends who recently reached 4,000 subscribers here on YouTube. You can see our favorite colors around our pictures here, but I want to say a big congratulations to Lynn with LV Handcrafted, Amanda with Pear Blossom Press, and Sierra with Sierra T Designs. To celebrate, we're all crafting with our favorite colors as inspiration for our projects. You can win some crafty goodies for hopping along, and others along the hop may also be offering a prize. You can find all the videos in the hop using the links down in the description box, as well as searching YouTube with the hashtag 4 at 4K giveaway hop. The deadline to enter is August 5th at midnight, and you'll want to fill out the prize entry form link down in the description box to officially enter for a chance to win. You'll only need to fill out the form once for the entire hop, and you'll have a chance to win from everyone offering a prize. You'll have at least four chances to win, so check out each video along the hop to see who else is offering a prize. I'll share what I'm giving away at the end of this video. So to start my project, I decided to break out some of my sprays in the colors that you see here. Some of these I've never even used, but I cut a few panels of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock down to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And I'm using a box to spray in so I don't make a mess all over my work surface. But this first spray is Distress Oxide in the saltwater taffy color. I just love this, this corally pink color. It does curl up a bit, but if you lay it out to dry, it will flatten out. And then next I tried out some Distress Mica Stains. The teal color is called Shiny Bobble. I also tried out Distress Spray Stain in Abandoned Coral and Dilution's Shimmer Spray in Fresh Lime. After letting these panels completely dry for a few hours, I decided to pull out some of my background dyes. So I'm using these Tim Holtz Layered Plaid Thinlets dyes by Sizzix, and I pulled out some purple cardstock for the background, and I plan to use the two shades of my favorite colors for the plaid layers. And originally I thought I'd use a black card base, but you'll see me change my mind here in just a bit. But for my focal point, I'm using these leafy layering dyes. I'll be cutting the bottom layer from the shiny lime green and the top layer from the teal color. Now, before running these through my die cutting machine, I decided to add double-sided adhesive to the back of the panels. And I'm using a roll of two inch double-sided adhesive tape from scrapbook.com and it is super sticky. But I really like this tape because I won't have to put liquid glue on all of the tiny details on the back. Next, I cut out all of the die cuts. Now, I originally planned to use the word dies that say sweet friend, but somehow in the process of removing all of the tiny pieces from the plaid layers, I misplaced it. I looked everywhere. I ended up cleaning off my entire table thinking that it stuck to something, but I still couldn't find it. I know it'll eventually turn up, but this has been driving me crazy where it went. Has this ever happened to you? I'm just curious, but at least my table is clean now, right? So I used my dye brush tool and foam pad to help remove all of the tiny pieces from this background dye. I really like using this tool when I have intricate dyes with a lot of pieces that need to be removed. And then I use my pick tool to remove what didn't come out by brushing over the top. So I tried the plaid layers on the purple panel and also on the black card base and I didn't really care for either one, but I really like it on the white. But I wanted to pull in more of our favorite colors and I really like this light teal blue color. It's almost the exact same shade as the shimmery paper that I'm using for the top layer of the leaf. So I went ahead and cut that out and I started assembling the card. I used Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive for the gluing down the bottom panel and the plaid layers have that double-sided tape on the back. So I just had to remove the backing and I wasn't sure which way the plaid layers needed to be placed. So you'll see me flipping this top layer a couple of times just to make sure I have it placed how it needs to be. And then I made sure that I pressed it down firmly so that it would stick. And then next I removed the middle part of the leaves on the top layer of the leaf die cuts. And I plan on using these again on another leaf. Um, I'll be using the outline of this for this card, but I figured I would cut out another leaf and uh, place those inner pieces on there. But I just love this leaf with all of the shimmer. And 
this pause here is me looking all over for the die with the die cut inside. I even looked back at my footage to see if I could figure out what it got stuck to, but unfortunately it was there in one clip and gone in the next. So instead of using Sweet Friend like I originally planned, I decided to use this Congrats Word and Shadow die from Queen & Company. I cut the shadow out of scrap white cardstock and the word from the shimmer paper. And after attaching the layers together, I glued the word and the leaf down using some Gina K Liquid Connect glue. This is a really strong liquid glue that I have placed in this squeeze bottle with a fine tip and it is getting low, so I do need to refill it. But uh, I figured since my surface was uneven, I figured it would be best to use this glue to make sure it sticks well. And then to finish off the card, I added some coral rhinestones. I actually added some lime green also, but I ended up taking those off. And here is my finished card. I really love how this turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And what's better fitting than a congrats card for my friends that also reached the 4,000 subscriber milestone? So congratulations, Lynn, Sierra, and Amanda. And a huge thank you to all of my subscribers. I really appreciate you. So my way of giving back is to offer a giveaway for hopping along with us today. For the giveaway prize on my channel, I have these three die sets here that viewers in the USA will have a chance to win. The first die set is called Stitched Fringe Cake, and there are six cutting dies included, and it's by Spellbinders. The second set is also from Spellbinders, and it's called Stitched Flower, and this one has nine cutting dies included. The large flower and a smaller flower, plus two leaves and a branch. And then the third set is from Sizzix called Funky Bobbles, and it's by Jennifer Ogborn, and there are 18 dies in here. And this creates all of these beautiful ornaments that you see on the front here. So by hopping along and completing the form, you can have a chance to win this prize if you live in the USA. So good luck. Remember, you'll find the link to the next video in the hop at the top of the description box below. We'd love it if you check out each video on the hop and click the thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe if you like what you see. And don't forget to come back to my channel on August 10th and check the community tab to see if you're a winner. I really appreciate you watching. Have a wonderful day.